All right, so here's my review on the Stud Boy Prolite Backers. Um, installed these uh, beginning of the season. I had zero miles on the sled. Uh, put them in brand new. Everything's all was all brand spanking new. Pretty nice for once. Um, I currently have. Let's see here. Forgot exactly. I am up to trip. We are currently at 1381. So I got 1381 miles on these bad boys. Um, this nitro is supercharged. Uh, do have an MBRP exhaust on there, so it's probably a little over 180 horse. Um, so far, I'd say these backers have held up pretty good. Um, I'm running the Woody's uh, Gold Digger studs. Um, I just had better luck with Woody's than I have with Stud Boy studs, so the reason for that. Um, as you can see, most of the poly backers are still holding up good. I've only had one that I had an issue with, but it actually looked like I ran over something rather than the fault of the backer itself. It kind of looked like I ran over a fence post or something that uh, cut it right along the edge right here and went down uh, through here and this side and just basically looked like something just cut straight into it. So I had one stud that came out, uh, had a couple extras, replaced it, and uh, haven't had any other issues since. Uh, as you can see, most of the points that were on all these backers kind of came off. Uh, I kind of expected that. Um, it'd be pretty rough if they actually held up. I'd be insanely impressed if they could hold up to what I put it through. Uh, <clears throat> the way it works, uh, I've, I've liked them. Have uh, no complaints with them really, other than installing them. They sucked install, uh, but uh, haven't had any issues other than the one. But like I said, I, it looked like I ran something over that cut it. Um, I have been able to pull wheelies like crazy with this damn thing. Uh, I did do one on a nice hard pack trail. Uh, carried skis until 98 miles an hour on the Dreamometer. What that was, GPS? Don't ask me, I don't know. But uh, it was a nice hard pack trail, and I carried him for a long freaking way. But, you know, stock suspension rear end. Uh, I haven't changed anything yet. I'm about to because it's got a lot of transfers. So that probably played into it a little bit. But nonetheless, the bite is very nice. Um, I like this Ripsaw 2 track. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a l I think it is a little better than the regular Ripsaw. Seems like it gives you a little more bite. Uh, all the lugs have held up pretty well. I haven't had any issues with any of those. It all still looks like brand new. Uh, I think it's kind of cool with this pattern in there looking like fair print. But uh, so far, loving it. Loving studs. Loving the backers. Um, yeah, just got to uh, take a little of my transfer out because when I hammer it, I have like zero ski pressure. So, yeah, a Yamaha with no ski pressure. Yeah, who heard of that? So, just giving that 1,300 miles. Still digging them. Later.